So I'd like to start with a really powerful scripture tonight and uh, just see how the Urantia stands up against it. This is a really important scripture. I, I love sharing this one. It's, it's, always, uh, it's always relevant in some way or another. John 14, 26. And it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, A-L-L, all things, and bring all things, that's A-L-L again, uh, to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. So we have Jesus talking here, and he's talking about the Holy Spirit of God, which will come and teach all things. So Jesus identifies who our teacher is. And so therefore, hey, is this book, is the Urantia, the Spirit of God talking? Well, let's just give the text a, a, a try. Who brought the text of the Urantia? We are told that the Urantia was bought by a host of celestial beings. Uh, I believe 23 of them were properly identified. And each participant claimed to have contributed uh, or is claimed to have contributed in different areas of knowledge. In other words, they just kind of pass the torch around, you know, that being this being writes this and this being writes this and, and this other being contributes this. And then it's all brought through these several beings. Now, I'm sorry, but simple mathematics is, is all that it takes to show me here that, uh, well, 23 beings is not the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is one with itself and one with the Godhead, God the Father and God the Son, the Holy Trinity, the Triune God, the Godhead, whatever you might call it, by whatever name it is, it's the Holy Union, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And we're only given right now, it, it, it seems like we're just not given much, you know. We have God the Father, and we have Jesus Christ, and we have the Holy Spirit. It's like, man, we're only getting a third of it. No. <laughs> Remember Jesus' words. He said, unless, unless I go, the greater gift will not come to you. And he was speaking of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the greatest gift we can have. So it's the greatest gift of Jesus the Holy Spirit, who teaches us all things, is it these 23 celestial beings? Or is it the numerous beings that were claimed to have been there? Is it the being that was claimed by one of the forum members of the Urantia group to have manifested before their eyes? Well, I'm sorry, but I just can't say yes to that. I think that's a problem. And again, I'm not cherry picking this verse. You can flip your page over or, or look on down a little bit to John 15, 26. And it reinforces it. It says, But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. In other words, the holiest of all things the Holy Spirit, the holiest thing on earth right now, the most powerful thing on earth right now, the Spirit of God. Now, I don't really want to get into much, but if you turn to paper 104 of the Urantia, you can get into the Trinity of Trinities concept, and we're going to, it's it repurposes some of John 14, 26 and John 15, 26. You see how clearly these passages push against false doctrine or a false teacher. Well, the problem is the Urantia just so happens to repurpose these verses and, and cause you in reading them to be redirected to another thought. And that thought is this Trinity of Trinities 
and the three spirits which proceed from that theology, which is flawed. Now, you, you want to go relative here in, in Scripture, uh, in actual Scripture, not Urantian theology. You can go to 1 Corinthians 12, 7, and it says, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. So, it's a universal gift. Paul goes on to tell us that we all have the same gift, the same Spirit, uh, but we have different spiritual gifts from the Spirit, in the Spirit, and by the Spirit, which is to say, by Jesus the, the Christ, through God the Father. And... I personally just do not think that if we are given this great gift that we really need 23 other beings to come down here and tell us about stuff um, or the, the council or actually as it's written councils, plural, which okayed the work and took it before God the Father and all of the countless beings that supposedly went into the writing of this book.